everyone and hope you're doing very great. It's a pleasure to be with you today and welcome to this channel. My channel, Perceptions with Adedayo Phillips. I know this is a, a new channel and it's, you know people say when you start something new, oh, someone else has started. But ah, I'd like you to just stay with me. This is my first official YouTube video and I'm new to you know doing things online vlogs online teaching though I'm not new to teaching itself as a Sunday school teacher and um, a pastor and also I work day to day and it's my pleasure to bring this channel to you where I'll be coming to you with the truth as it relates to topical issues of life, you know, issues that affect us day to day in the marketplace, issues that pertain to our day to day living are things I intend to talk about from the perspective of the truth, looking at it in detail and bringing out not just opinions, or talking about popular opinions, no, but giving a separate look at it, a deeper look at it. I know many of us have peculiar challenges, but we'll take it into the principle of the truth and help us to understand how we can merge spirituality, how we can merge the truth, how we can merge life, and then put it into our day-to-day -day living. You know, bringing matters of faith to you from a perspective that are not just opinions, coming to you about sharing wisdom, insight, and being practicable about it. It's not about theories, it's about practicability. So I would like you to join me as we build this channel, as we learn and grow together in this community. You know, it's coming together and learning together that matters. Every other thing is secondary, but it's 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 leveraging the partnership and growing together, you know, with your comments, with the feedbacks and all all those good stuff. But let's come together as a bond and let's grow together. So why this channel? Going to the point you know, not to over -labor it, it's a place where I want us to look at which things wisely, things with insight. It's my vision to, to do the research, to, to think of things in a different way and be able to present it. That's, that's key for me, you know, bringing refreshing inspiration, bringing refreshing insight into topical things, into topical issues, and we can debate it. We can not not argue about it, not opinionate ourselves about it, but just be frank and be open and honest and be truthful. And uh, as I've said, let's let let's let's grow together. So yeah, let's jump right into it and see what we have today. I've decided to break this first session. Into, three, into a three-part video to help us, you know, assimilate, to help us enjoy what we're doing together. So, let's, let's crack on then. Today, I would like to look at what I call an altered view. What do I call an altered view? And I would like to, you know, go deep into it today. You see, our world is changing very, very fast, and we need to develop means to adapt to the change. I'm not saying change, but adapt to the changes that are coming to us very quick. You see, our lives are changing right before our eyes. It's there. We just, we wake up in the morning and then the new something comes out. So it's, and these changes are not technological changes alone. They're not religious changes. But for example, we all have the ongoing pandemic in the world now. This caught every, everyone with our defenses down. And we need to use our minds 
and not just carry on as we used to do before, but use our minds to, to think deep on how we can move forward. Because what got us where, to where we are would not be enough to get us to where we want to be. So we need an alternative. We, we need to alter our ways to get us on the right path, back onto the right path. Because no one is going to help us. But we, ourselves, you are the key factor for yourself. The, it, it, in the yourself, there is a you. It is the you for you. you it, it's the you that needs to be able to pull through for yourself. And when you're doing that, you can pull people along, but say first, get yourself in the right place. Have, have a different perception, have an altered view of things. So you see, it, it's not necessarily about just winning. Because what's happening in the world now is helping us to experience the stimulus to get us to alter our ways of life and prioritize on the important things. So what, what's altered? What, what, what do I mean? What, just checking it out. So um, it says it's a change in character. A change in character. So when we say being altered, the definition coming from the dictionary says being able to change in character. And that's not all. Even in times of trouble, we need to be able to have confidence knowing that the pressures will develop in us, patience, that enduring spirit, that endurance will build up resilience in us. Because that's the factor that we need to refine our characters because it's a proven character that strengthens our hope. So when we say change in character is part of the Alter, the, the, the altered view that we're talking about, then we need to know that our character, a proven character, strengthens our hope. And that's one thing we need in this generation. That's one thing we need to move forward. So being able to alter our character by, by having built up resilience and uh, endurance is a step-by-step -step process. It's not, it's not like that. It's a step-by-step -step process. It's one day at a time because little drops make a mighty ocean. So, you see, you can ask yourself, so if we're saying I should have an altered view, I should have a change of character, because what gets me to where I am now is not going to get me forward. Why then do I do so much with little to show for it? It's because we fear failure. I fear failure until I found out that maybe failure itself is not a destination. The fear of failure, because we think it's a destination, it's enough to lock a man down, and that's the that's that's the that's the key. That's the that's the main challenge. So I want to I want to give us an, another perspective on the way to view view the world we call failure today. Because at times we should not see failure as the opposite of, of success. We need to know, and I, I, I've come up with this in my head to just say, at times when you do something and it doesn't come out the way you want, it just helps you to understand that it's, it's what I call elimination by process. Because I can then eliminate all the things that did not work to get to where I'm going. And I know those things don't work and I can, pick, I can begin to find. So I, I believe... What we call failure is a learning, is, a, is the opportunity to learn. It's, it's giving me the understanding between what works and what doesn't work. So we should view failure as a learning, as a call that brings learning to us. As I've said, it's more like success by elimination. Because you know where you're going to, you have a focus and you're just walking towards it. So one thing I would want you to take away from today in the first part of this teaching, of this news channel, is I would not see failure as a destination, but I would learn, I would take away learning from every thing that comes. Because it shows I'm very weak if I give up now. So you can't just give up. Yes, there's so many things that could make me give up now.
now, but I've learned how to do it better. That's how I want to see it, you know, going forward from today. And hopefully, in our next video, I'll be able to come and share with us what the biggest challenge is and how we can then start taking the step towards what we call our successes in life. Thank you and I hope to come back to you soon for the part two of today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.